Stephanie Belflint joins us now to talk about gallbladder diseases. And if you have questions, please send them to the doctors at WLBT.com. Thank you, Maggie. Joining us now is Dr. Randy Voiles. He is with Baptist Medical Center and pretty much a specialist in gallbladders. Good to have you. Thank you. How common is gallbladder disease? This is really one of the more common procedures performed in the United States as far as removing the organs from the abdomen. Uh, even small hospitals all across the country, it's quite, quite common. Uh, I personally have done 6,000 of them wow. in the last oh, 20 years. Wow, that's yeah. a few gallbladders. Now, I've heard of gallstones. What's the difference in having gallstones and gallbladder disease, or is there a difference? Most patients that we operate on, we operate on for gallstones. However, we do live in the fattest state and the fattest country in the history of the world, and one of the side effects of that is you get not only gallstones to develop, but also fatty disease in the gallbladder where there's dysfunction. Uh, it also occurs during pregnancy. Uh, so the stones cause problems when they have an obstruction to the duct system, and all we are are glorified plumbers when we fix those problems. But uh, the non-stone disease is a dysfunction problem where people just have discomfort uh, usually associated with eating. Okay, so my question is, if you can live without this organ, then what's the purpose of the gallbladder? Well, we could go into a long evolutionary talk. <laughs> I'm sure we probably could. <laughs> but, uh, there's really probably not a useful function. Uh, obviously, thousands and thousands of people, six or seven hundred thousand a year have the gallbladder out and they function just fine with it. The ductal system accommodates by enlarging once someone has their gallbladder out. So it's the storage function for storing bile uh, is overtaken by the bile duct system. So basically, we've just got this inert <laughs> thing, to, this get, thing to get irritated in our body. That's right. And, and, and to be certain, there's some patients early after their gallbladder is removed where they have some gastrointestinal dysfunction, but they usually, the vast majority, 99%, are back to normal within a couple of months' time. What are some of the symptoms that people need to look for, uh, gallstones versus gallbladder disease? Is it nausea? Is it just pain? Or what exactly should they look for? All right. Uh, first of all, almost always, gallbladder disease occurs and manifests itself after eating because after all, it's an organ that helps you digest food. Right. Uh, when we have stone disease and the stone plugs the duct, people have abrupt onset, severe acute pain, and indeed, they can have a bad infection and, uh, and indeed life-threatening illnesses with uh, infection in the liver and pancreatitis. The non-stone disease, you don't have those life-threatening illnesses, but patients just feel like they're gonna die because they have discomfort after they eat. Well, the one thing that I've discovered in covering obesity is that we can have fatty livers, we can have, and now I've discovered that we can have fatty gallstones. Um, obviously, obesity is, a, is causing a problem to not just the gallbladder, but to even more essential organs like the liver and everything right. else. I mean, it's a, it's a plethora of problems. We truly have an epidemic of obesity. And indeed, one of the most common things that, that, that we're dealing with now is what we call steatohepatitis, where the liver's fully infiltrated with fatty tissues uh, to the point that people get severe liver dysfunction, the liver disease. Is there a certain age that, that you end up taking the gallbladder out out of more than another age? Yeah. Uh, first of all, gallstones occur during pregnancy, so it's not all just what we eat. It's, we can't blame McDonald's for everything. <laughs> so they occur during pregnancy, but they also occur when people gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight. They precipitate little stones. Uh, and what was your question? Just, is it a certain age? That oh, I'm sorry. So up to age 65, women predominate. Once you get to 65, we see the same instance in males and females. But uh, uh, we see it in, in sickle cell patients. We see it in eight, nine-year-old kids. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, and that's another kind of stone. Mm -hmm. It's not from fatty foods and such as that. Uh, but, but we see it also in thin teenagers for just related perhaps to a fatty diet, maybe a little heredity. So how do you keep your gallbladder healthy? Don't eat good southern food. <laughs> uh, Not. I'm in trouble. Uh, uh, do I was going to ask, do statins help? No, 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 no. Totally it's, different animal. It's 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 a relation. It's not. It's related to cholesterol, but it's the the ratio of cholesterol to the bile salts. So statins really don't help at, at all in, in that entity. And 
just because your blood cholesterol is elevated doesn't mean you're more likely to get gallstones. If you get on the scales and that's too healthy, then you're more apt to have gallbladder problems. All right. Dr. Boyles, you're at Baptist Medical Center, and I assume you have an office up there? We have an office there. Uh, we've been doing this for 21 years next month. We've had wow. visitors from Australia, South America to come see how we do it here. And similarly, we've been across the country and, and most recently got back from Asia and uh, South America presenting how we do this here, how it's a little different than other places in the world. So sharing it with other people, and it, it, it has been simplified a great deal, thank goodness. It used to be a four to seven day operation, a four to seven day hospitalization. Now it's four to seven hours. Wow. That's great. All right, Dr. Yeah. Boyce, thank you so much. Yeah. And for the latest health news, log on to our website, wlbt.com, and click on Medical Matters.